Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Shadi Aqil. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet meeting today at Ghudaybiya Palace. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister welcomed the results of the official Bahraini Yemeni talks held during the visit of the Prime Minister of the Republic of Yemen, Dr. Ahmed bin Abed bin Daghar, to the Kingdom of Bahrain and described it as an addition to relations and bilateral cooperation, which serves the two countries' common interests. His Royal Highness stressed Bahrain's steady stance, led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa, that supports Yemen's unity, safety, and constitutional legitimacy, led by the President of Yemen, Abdurrahman Mansour Hadi, as well as its continued support to the Arab coalition led by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to overcome current circumstances and challenges. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister directed the Bahraini Hajj mission to provide care services and assistance to Bahraini pilgrims to facilitate the performance of Hajj. He praised the efforts of the Saudi government under the leadership of the custodian of the Two Holy Mosque, King Salman bin Abdulaziz al-Zuru, to facilitate the performance of Hajj. The cabinet condemned the terrorist attack that took place in Barcelona in the province of Catalonia, which resulted in dozens of deaths and injuries. It expressed its sincere condolences to the Kingdom of Spain, affirming Bahrain's stance alongside Spain and its support to all procedures taken to face terrorism and to maintain its safety and security, renewing Bahrain's reject rejecting stance towards terrorism and extremism and the importance of eradicating it. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister directed to work on achieving self-sustenance in some animal and agricultural food products and develop national industries that depend on traditional Bahraini food products, including date packing, and appointed the relevant authorities in this regard. The Cabinet checked on the safety of food and imported products and the absence of eggs contaminated with fipronil that have spread in some European countries. It also decided to stop importing eggs from those countries until it made sure that they are free from the, the chemical. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister stressed the relative bodies and authorities to take all necessary precautions. His Royal Highness appointed service ministers to conduct field visits to Askar, Joe and Adur and the Southern Governorate and follow up their needs of facilities, infrastructure and efficiency of services and to meet the shortcomings. The Cabinet approved the classification of all waste into two types, either hazardous or non-hazardous, after the elimination of the classification of semi-hazardous waste mentioned in Resolution 10 of 1998 on environmental licensing fees. It also approved the cancellation of the license fee for the disposal of hazardous waste. The Cabinet approved the recommendation of the Committee for Financial Affairs and Rationalizing Expenditure based on the legal opinion of the legislation and legal IFTA authority to finance these services for the construction and maintenance of roads and side roads from the budget of municipal affairs as they are considered joint municipal services. The Cabinet followed up the implementation of 30 projects referred by the Cabinet to the Ministerial Committee for Urbanization and Infrastructure concerning housing development, municipal projects education, facilities, marine wealth, food security, youth centers and road and sanitation services. 19 projects were completed by the committee, while 11 are still being implemented. The Cabinet appointed the Ministerial Committee for Urbanization and Infrastructure to meet the needs for housing projects of the people in Adiraz, Jinusan, Umm al Hassam, Sitra, Nabi Saleh, and Al Qarya, in light of the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa. The Cabinet referred to the Representatives Council a draft law to amend the Penalties Laws No. 15 of 1976. The Cabinet reviewed and approved three proposals by the Representatives Council concerning postgraduate fees at the University of Bahrain, traffic awareness campaigns, and the suspension of utility services for people who failed to meet electricity and water bill payments. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Ghudaybiya Palace the Southern Governor Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness congratulated the Southern Governor for the national responsibility appointed to him, affirming the royal confidence in him. He affirmed that Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali has the capabilities, ambitions, and keenness to exert all efforts to assume his national duty and serve the country and its people. His Royal Highness added that the kind sentiments expressed by Bahrainis upon this royal appointment reflect the role of the Governor in his keenness 
to communicate with the people on various occasions. His Royal Highness pointed out the important role of the governorates in communicating with citizens and meeting their needs, stressing the government's keenness to provide the best living standards for citizens. The Southern Governor expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness's keenness to support the Southern Governorate and achieve the people's needs. He vowed to exert efforts to implement the directives of His Royal Highness and to enhance communication with the people. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today the former Representative Council Speaker Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Dahrani. He affirmed his keenness to communicate with citizens on all occasions, noting the importance of communication and strengthening the social fabric and unity in light of the various challenges. Al Dahrani expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness's sincere condolences on the passing of his wife. He wished His Royal Highness abundant health and prosperity. The Prime Minister of the Republic of Yemen, Dr. Ahmed bin Abed bin Dagar, has departed the kingdom today after a brotherly visit where he met with His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, in which they discussed topics related to developing bilateral relations and the latest developments in Yemen. The Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa and a number of officials bid the Yemeni President farewell.
the Prime Minister of the Republic of Yemen, Dr. Ahmed Abed bin Daghar, along with the accompanying Yemeni delegation, visited today Bahrain's National Museum on the sidelines of his official visit to the kingdom. Present were the Cabinet Affairs Minister, Mohammed al-Mutawa, the Yemeni Ambassador to the Kingdom, Ali Hassan al-Ahmadi, and state officials. At the forefront to receive the Yemeni Premier and the accompanying delegation was the Director of the Museum's Affairs at Bahrain Association for Culture and Antiquities, the BACH, Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, who welcomed Dr. Daghar's visit praising the relations between the two friendly countries. The delegation toured the museum's different departments, which include a collection of archaeological artifacts and important historical articles. The delegation also learned about Bahraini heritage, as well as historic documents and information about the kingdom. For his part, the Yemeni premier expressed admiration of the museum's artifacts. He also hailed the role of BACA in preserving the national identity and highlighting the historic value and cultural facade of Bahrain. Yemen has participated a number of times in cultural events in Bahrain, the most recent which is the 7th Bahrain Summer Festival. BACA has cooperated with the Yemeni Embassy in the Kingdom and held a number of events and performances. The deep-rooted historic relations between Bahrain and Yemen are considered a unique model of friendly fraternal relations between two brotherly countries. More in this report. The deep-rooted relations between Bahrain and Yemen were not just based on commercial exchange, common interest, and official relations. It was based on bilateral brotherly and amicable relations, which affirms the depth of the historic relations between the two countries. The two countries exchange a number of meetings and visits for their importance in enhancing bilateral cooperation and coordination. The recent visit was an official visit of the Yemeni president, Abdrabbu Mansour Hadi, in March 2016, where both leaders stressed the need to further enhance relations and affirmed their unwavering stance towards one another. These relations urged the Kingdom of Bahrain to assume its role in protecting the legitimacy of Yemen and the sacrifices of Bahrainis who participated in the decisive storm and the Restore of Hope operations are proof of the strong ties between the two countries. The Kingdom of Bahrain has made a significant and important contribution to many of the important historical developments that Yemen has undergone. It was the first and the most sincere and loyal to its brotherly country at a time when Yemen was living in difficult circumstances. A very good evening. You're watching the Business and News on Bahrain International with me, Mohamed Youssef. Bahrain All Share Index closed at 1,309.79 points, marking a decrease of 2.55 points below last closing. The decrease was in the investment and services sectors, and investors traded mainly in the former sector with 59% of total shares. 33 transactions included 1,023,602 shares worth 176,367 Bahraini dinars.